interesting. I wonder if this will come with the mini toiletry 15 as well. It's like very aggressive on the eyeballs, to be honest. I love it. That is so cute. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I've noticed a few more sneaks coming out of the Louis Vuitton by the pool collection part two. Now, recently we saw a few pieces from the Louis Vuitton by the pool collection. I feel like some of the most popular pieces were that summer bundle bag and the pink speedy. Super duper cute, but there's actually more to this collection that will be coming out soon in some monogram canvas variations. I did notice a few leaks of this canvas range on an Instagram called LV Collectibles. We saw some blue colored canvas pieces as well as this kind of beige colorway with this little like Louis Vuitton sign thing on it. Anyways, let's go, th go through some of the bags today. I don't know, I feel like it's like becoming less special Louis Vuitton because I've said this before, but I just feel like they're releasing things every single week and I just feel like it just you know, a collection comes out and then it becomes like irrelevant after a week because everyone's just on to the next thing. So let's just go. Oh my gosh, the sun is not going in my eyeball. Let me just shut the window a little bit. Okay, sorry about the lighting, guys. It's like morning and the sun is right in my face. But let's just go through this collection anyway. So... I noticed a few sneaks on Little Red Book as well of the pink monogram and it seems like there's going to be a Nano Noe in pink monogram. It's very interesting because this collection is giving me like a mix of watercolor collection and you know I feel like the watercolor collection from Richard Prince back in I think it was 2008 is one of the most coveted collections of all time and anything watercolor related that has been released since then has been very popular and we have seen a few kind of watercolor-esque monogram pieces come out over the years and this variation here with the pink watercolor effect it's very pretty but I don't love how they've contrasted it with the weird like micro monogram it's given me like crafty collection which I know the crafty collection some people absolutely loved it but that was a collection that also a lot of people hated and it's weird that they're revisiting this crafty collection concept of having like the micro monogram like pattern mixed with the oversized monogram it just makes it look very it's like very aggressive on the eyeballs to be honest maybe if they just stuck to the white colorway with the enlarged like watercolor color it would have been I, I don't know guys I guess in a micro size it's not as bad but I just feel like this is a very busy design I feel like maybe two years ago this design would have been super duper popular because there was a time where like the nano speedy like the multicolor one was super popular and it had a bit of a resurgence ever since like Stormy started wearing it and like Kendall Jenner and that sort of thing and I think if Louis Vuitton released a bag like this back in like 2020 this would be like a high pipe hype bag but now that we've seen this kind of thing over and over again like the same kind of like crafty-esque vibe and watercolor vibe it's just it's not as like surprise like it's just getting a bit predictable so I don't know if this is going to be like as much of a sellout as it, as it could have been like a few years ago but it's still very cute and I think if you're into collecting mini Louis Vuitton bags this might be one that may tempt you and you know if you're a pink lover you might also be super tempted by this but it's just something about it is ruining the cuteness of it I think it's like the there's too many patterns on it but if you do like this pattern you can also get the I think it's a Victorine wallet this is a bit like less aggressive on the eyes because the the big pattern is on the outside and the little pattern is on the inside so I don't think it's it looks as busy and I quite like it in an SLG form so there's that too there's also I love this pencil case with the watercolor it reminds me of when they did like a watercolor rainbow variation a few years ago and the pink is just beautiful I think if you're a pink lover you most certainly will be tempted by this I mean even me like sometimes I feel like I want a little pencil case for my bag I think this is such a good piece to get and it's probably not going to break the bank as well also the sunny sunglasses case in the pink uh, monogram with the you can see that's got a bit of the smaller 
uh, patterned detail on it as well and like a contrasting pink and obviously because it's a summer collection you need like a sunglasses case as well some like black and white variations of bags I'm not sure exactly what material this is like if I zoom up on the mini pochette it looks like it's some sort of like either raffia or like a linen material or I don't know I just it looks like it's got embroidered um monogram on it but let me know guys if you know exactly what material this is but all you mini pochette collectors out there there's going to be a limited edition mini pochette from the by the pool collection part two um in this colorway i mean it's quite cute for summer this nano bucket bag oh i wonder if this one comes with the mini uh key clochette thing as well because i've noticed that this certain style usually comes with an extra slg so yeah, this is another like cute little mini bag, also got a Noe bag, um, yeah, again, I think what will make or break this bag is when we find out if it's raffia, because I know raffia is pretty trending at the moment, so if it's raffia, it might speak to a lot of people, but if it's more like a linen, maybe, I don't know, maybe people will be scared or get too dirty or something, but it could be a raffia because it is a summer collection, but yeah, this is all, I don't know yet, guys, I'm just speculating here, that everyone's favorite the toiletry pouch on chain um yeah interesting i wonder if this will come with the mini toiletry 15 as well i feel like it probably will because i think in the kusama collection it came with the mini toiletry as well so that's pretty cute and i mean for a summer bag makes sense to have a toiletry case um but yeah i'm just not a huge fan of the toiletry on chain just because i kind of wish they still just did the toiletry 26 i feel like the toiletry on chain was just an excuse for louis vuitton to like make it more expensive so yeah i don't know but there's those bags a blue collection now there's also going to be this little um oh my gosh what is this called i've got a mental block now it's like a whoppity case in the blue variation and the blue is actually quite pretty because it has like bits of purple throughout as throughout it as well so if you're not into the pink range don't worry there's also going to be a few bags in the blue monogram this is quite pretty in the whoppity case there's also the rolling luggage um the horizon luggage i think it's called um interesting i mean yeah you'd have to be pretty bougie to buy that one there's also a Noi bag in the blue with the watercolor. I mean, the watercolor is really pretty, like the actual, the larger monogram. But I, I don't know, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the smaller pattern, like mixed with it. It kind of give, gives me like Greece vibes, the colorway. So it could be good for like a Greece holiday, but... Yeah, I'm not sure about it. I'm not sold. You can also get a few little dangle keychains from this collection. So the circle and there's one with the mirror. So I assume if you buy a bag, that could be a good little like add-on to buy, like to stick on your Noe bag. Now, uh, going back to some of the sneaks from the LV Collectibles page, um, I was talking about this before, but there's going to be this other monogram, which is like beige, and it has this like Louis Vuitton sign on it, which is actually a bag that we saw on the runway as well. So this like uh, motif thing, uh, we've seen a lot throughout Louis Vuitton's recent collections. And I don't know if this colorway would be that popular. I mean... I don't know who they were designing this for it just looks it looks old school but at the same time it doesn't look uh it's kind of it's like not that neutral like there's still a lot happening with it but as you can see you can get the rolling luggage there's the never full which i mean who's not who knows if it's getting discontinued or not guys i was just making a video about it but <laughs> we can get it in a limited edition anyways guys so if you love the never full don't worry, because you can still get limited edition ones as well, as we can see here. And we've got the Speedy, it looks like a Speedy, I'm going to guess Speedy 25. It could be a Speedy 30 as well in this same pattern. And some more sneaks of the blue colorway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't personally love it. There's something about it. Oh my gosh, but I love this, guys. There's going to be a little seashell uh, keychain. I love it. That is so cute. Like... Just having that in your handbag, like, as a little, like, thing. I don't know if I'll use it. I kind of just want it. It reminds me of, like, the Mirakami heart. I used to have the heart coin purse. It is so cute. Like, um, Louis Vuitton used to do really cute heart coin purses in, like, vernis leather and, you yeah, multicolor. And this shell, oh my gosh, I just love it. Looks like it's vernis as well, like a pearlescent vernis, but 
yeah, I mean, that is just probably my favourite piece of the whole collection, which is so random, but I just love it. And you've got an on-the-go PM in the pink. Yeah, I just feel like this is so busy, guys. Like, the strap, then the coin purse. Like, you can see on the coin purse, it really shows off the watercolour effect of the pattern. Um, I actually saw a leak of this same combination in a... I think it was a Speedy 25 as well, but I didn't screenshot it, and then I couldn't find it again, but I'm sure we'll see more sneaks soon, guys. But there's a similar colorway coming out in a Speedy 25 as well. Speedy B, pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's giving me crafty collection, and I'm just that wasn't one of my favorite collections personally. And also Foxy LV shared that they're going to do some limited edition Neverfulls, uh, which have like the names of different cities on it. So you're only going to be able to purchase these kinds of Neverfulls in certain cities. So that could be a really cool thing to collect as well and pretty exciting if you live in a city where they're doing this limited edition Neverfull. I know that in Australia sometimes they did like Cairns and Sydney, but I'm not sure if they're going to bring this range to Australia. I don't think that they are according to like the list Foxy LV provided. Um, so there's going to be a blue Neverfull, and the good thing about this Neverfull is that it comes with like a really funky pouch as well, so it's kind of like a two-in-one, you can use like the pouch as a little clutch, and yeah, I mean the blue is really pretty. Um, the Neverfull will also come in this like beige colorway, so I assume we're going to see a few more bags in this beige color as well as the pink and the blue. So yeah, we've got this beige peachy colorway, which is a little bit more neutral. So anyways guys, that's just some of the leaks that I found doing some research. Um, I'm sure we'll see more leaks like in the like next two days to be honest, maybe even tomorrow. But um, I just thought I'd talk, give my opinion today and let me know. Yeah, what do you think of this collection? It's not my favourite. It's not blowing me away. Honestly, I'm a little bit obsessed with the Mono Glam collection. I really want to see some of like the darker coloured pieces with like the super rainbow effect. I think that is really cool. I love the Speedy 20 in like the navy blue colour. That bag is just so awesome, but I haven't seen them in real life yet. So yeah, I mean, if that's probably my favourite collection at the moment. This one is just like, eh, I think it will get old really fast. But yeah, I mean, I can see how it might appeal to people who love going on summer holidays and that sort of thing as well. So anyways, thanks for watching my video and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!